Welcome back YouTube. So I'm making this video because I've been getting a lot of uh, tweets, uh, inboxes, all stating, hey look, AMC is going down, what's going on? So I want to provide some clarification. Uh, first off, I wanna say that um, if you go back and you look at any of my videos that I mentioned AMC, you'll know that we are historically right on track. This is very common and it pretty much happens almost 100% of the time. Right before there is a, um, they start to cover, you'll see a tank in the price. This is what I call shaking the tree or pretty much trying to get rid of like paper hands or to cause fear. It's not the last that we're going to see in a uh, strategy like this, but it's also it's usually the, the most effective because when you shake the tree, when you know you're on the hook for um, billions, uh, you know, tens of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, what you'll try and do is pretty much anything to try and bring that cost down. So even though you know that you're not going to get everyone or a large percentage of the uh, shareholders to sell, even if you get 1%, uh, point something percent, um, it, 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 you know, it helps. So this is pretty much the strategy that we're going to see here. If you've been watching the numbers over the last few days, you'll know that they pretty much don't make sense. So if you're looking at, if you're like a technical person or um, you like to read charts, like doing analysis, you'll know that these numbers don't make sense whatsoever. If you're looking at turnover rate or inflow and outflow, um, the percentage of the shares that we hold and the percentage of the shares that the uh, institutions hold, and you do some simple math, you know that this doesn't make sense. This is manipulation at its finest. This is the hedge funds. They're shorting like crazy to try and get you to sell your positions. Let's use today for an example. Think about a company that has a 501 million share float. And think about the amount of money it would take to move that share like roughly 10%. Think about the amount of shares. Now, if let's say institutions own like 10%, we own like 80 and they've been shorting for well over a month now, where are these shares coming from? We know they're borrowing shares and you know, there's things like dark pooling. We know about all that, but roughly 45 million shares this morning like really our turnover rate is less than seven percent so if nobody is selling we're holding and if if we're not simply holding we're buying more the stock price goes down if that's not an indication that you're on the right track and that you should be holding if not buying more then i don't know what is that's what i'm doing um you know, everyone, you know, you're entitled to make your own decisions, do your own due diligence, you know, don't take my word for it. But when you see things like this, when you see the numbers not making sense, um, I believe it was uh, earlier this week, if not last week, where we had a 3% turnover rate and the stock dropped three, uh, $3. When you see stuff like that, that's when you know the hedges are in the market and they're manipulating. And I, and I take advantage of all those dips. Hell, I wish that this stock, I wish they could get it down to like $45. The problem that we're causing right now is because that we simply won't go away. So when we hold the stock and when they short it, we buy more. So I, I can only imagine that there is complete chaos going on like in their offices right now, because no matter what they do, even if, even when they drop like today, I, I imagine they spent a few billion dollars. But even when they spend a few billion dollars, short tens of millions of shares, the price barely moves. And then we take advantage of the dips. And to me, like this price dropping and they can short it all they want because we know they don't have the shares and they're borrowing those shares. Those shares have to be returned. So they can do this all day long. They can borrow, they can short, they can you know do whatever they want, but those shares have to be returned and those shorts have to be covered. With that being said, I don't care if this stock went to $20. I'm still going to buy more because the value, the fundamentals don't matter. Don't look at the charts and oh, the, the, um, what's going on with AMC and um, the actual value of the company. The value is in the fact that they are borrowing and that they are shorting. So that's why the, um, you know, you, you're gonna have to kind of ignore the charts here for a little bit, but the value is in the borrowed shares and the shorting. So the, what we're gonna see the rise is pretty much when they return those shares and when they cover those positions. That's all this is about. So don't pay attention, like if the price drops, that's excellent. The more they borrow, the more they short, the higher this thing goes, the more they're gonna to have to cover and, buy and uh, return those shares. So they're only digging the hole deeper. So when you see things like this, just, you know, um, I, I know for a lot of like the support lines and um, there's a lot of graphs and charts, you can be like, oh, hey, you know, this doesn't make sense. You're gonna to have to ignore that for now. But when you look at certain things like inflow and outflow, 
and uh, turnover rate. And you see that these things are low or the inflow is significantly greater than the outflow, yet the price is dropping. Know that you're onto something and know that the hedge funds is manipulated. This, this particularly applies in um, short squeezes. So they typically try and get out of it. They're trying to shake the tree and get rid of the paper hands. And the next step that you're going to see is something similar um, to the most recent one would be GameStop, where you'd see a ladder approach. So they'd shoot this between, from like, where we at, like $50 now? They shoot this to a few hundred dollars. Pause, stop covering. Let's see who sells here. There's no reason as to why they would cover those positions or even half of those positions in one go when they know that they can stop and pause and have people sell each step of the way. This is another strategy that they'll use to save themselves a fortune. So just, you know, stay the course, do your due diligence, you know, have your, um, your exit plan ready. And if we're working together, we can, you know, pull this off and walk away like with, with some amazing profits. I just wanted to provide you with a quick update as far as what's going on today. I hope this video provided you with some clarity. Um, if you are interested, please consider joining the email list. Um, I send out my research through there. Um, join the, um, I'm also working on a Facebook group for everyone. It'll be free of charge, but I believe I have one of the best communities on YouTube and I want you guys to be able to converse with each other and come up with strategies. So I'm putting that together for all of you and that'll be my gift. Um, I'll be in there as well. So I hope that everyone can uh, take advantage of that and um, grow together. If you're looking for a brokerage, I highly recommend Webull. Uh, to diversify like your brokerages and your portfolio. Um, they're actually my favorite brokerage. I actually like them more than E-Trade. I trade on several platforms, but uh, Webull is actually my favorite. And you can also buy Dogecoin on there. And right now, if you open an account with $100, you can get two free stocks valued at up to $1,600. Don't forget to like and share this video. I appreciate all of you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will speak with you next time.